Bill and Buck here. Hey y'all. And we're not playing games. We're we real. Here. We're real. We are here to drop knowledge. Yeah, that's all we're here to do. Teach you about life. This is not fun and games. Get in your mind. This is not some like laughable issue. This is not Parcheesi. No. I don't even know what the heck that is. This is real life. This America. is real life, and we want to come at you tonight talking about some serious business. But first off, we want to thank first, you. Yeah, first and foremost, we want to thank all of our 38 fans. We see you. Do not think that we don't. We are watching our page daily. We see your likes. We see your friend little things when they say, hey, they liked your page. We see all of that, and we love it. We just adore it. And I have got a consensus that Iron Man is real, Bill. That is true. We did see that comment on there, whoever that was. Iron Man, I didn't believe it. I still don't believe it, to be honest with you. But I got to go with it or else it'll make him sad. So, he's real. I'm emotional. He's real. He <laughs> Buck has an emotion. He, his emotions are kind of crazy sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But we love him to death, don't we? Just like we love all you fans. Yeah, we so thank you so much from the bottom of my I heart. I love you intimately. <laughs> That's good. Creepy, but good. Just marry me. <laughs> okay, it's not what we're here to talk about. Marry Buck on your own dang time, okay? What we're here to talk about right now is the fact that our lives have been chaos lately, America confusion as they usually are with us but just chaotic it's been like armageddon times like 38 and it's been like a like a low range shark attack think about like muhammad ali on crack cocaine that's just what our life is so great. what's been happening is we've had uh the power came back on thank the good lord because we were like on the verge of death yeah except he tricked us though turned it back on yeah we already we, we status updated that sorry i was mad still. okay so what happened was we decided to clean our apartment in america and that requires a vacuum for those of you who don't clean a um, pistol so what we did is it's like firefight out here yeah there's ice falling all over so, yeah, I'm I'm vacuuming. You, chaos. so he's vacuuming i'm sitting on the couch and all of a sudden from the kitchen comes this like crazy like banging around drawers are flying cupboards are going crazy the refrigerator comes sliding out it's just insanity so i go in the kitchen to see what's going on there's old buck with this big old stretched out clothes hanger fixing the vacuum okay like wrestling it around and sure enough though i gotta tell you he fixed it and it works perfectly like I, the vacuum is like brand new now it's it's amazing so purrs like a baby persian kitten yeah, so I got to tell you that story to tell you what happened this morning. I'm laying in bed. It's early, and I hear, like, this, like, grunting slash, like, hissing slash, like. Sounded like a rat in heat. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that sounds like, but I'm going to go with it. It sounds like a rat in heat, and all of a sudden, Buck comes, like, coming through my door didn't even ask like knock nothing it was just like boom he's in my room two feet away from me looking at me and he says bill i fixed our tub our tub was like overflowing it was like it wasn't draining we yeah so um he fixed it apparently so i get up out of bed i go into the bathroom and sure enough the tub is fixed but the only other thing in the bathroom is this big long stretched out clothes hanger so again we have buck fixing household issues with a clothes hanger that clothes hanger right there here take a take a good look but it was like super stretched out you know so i i brought you here tonight to talk with buck and say like where did you learn how to do this that was the question I'm from a trailer park. <laughs> okay, so he learned it in a trailer park. Um, but can you like fix anything with one of those? Anything. You got a red rider wagon? I'll fix it. You got no gas in your car? I'll fill it. How? <laughs> I'll fill it. <laughs> um, you need like a house built? I'll build it. Okay. Um, so what you're saying is basically then like screwdrivers, you don't need nope. them? Nope. Hammers? Nope. Power tools? 
He might need those. Why? <laughs> That's why? No, I don't know. I mean, they're cool. Okay. They're loud and you cut stuff. Okay. Or drill stuff. Okay. Okay. That's pretty cool. I mean, you can't do that with a hanger, but you can fix anything with it. Okay, so basically we're here to tell you that if you don't have a clothes hanger... You're sleeping. Get one. Now. Like now. Like go to the store, buy one. Or go in your closet. And get one. But make sure it's unfolded. Like, yeah. Like right away. Like, share, subscribe. Deuces.